Good morning everybody and welcome to Cafe Cagliari Training Center. Today we'll go through some basics about the espresso extraction. I'm going to show you how to make a great espresso just by following a few basic steps. Provided that we've set and adjusted our grinder in the best way possible, we can now proceed with the extraction of our coffee. We get the group out of our group head. And here we come to one of the most important steps in terms of extraction of espresso. You want to get your filter and group filter as much clean as possible. What does that mean? It means that inside of the group here, you've got some old coffee remains that will just corrupt the taste of your final cup. So you want to get a brush and get a good scrub before extracting. Now that our filter is clean, we can move towards the grinder. You see that the coffee comes out of the grinder at a certain speed and with a certain energy, meaning that it will get stuck just on one side of the filter. So you want to gently tap with your hand towards the side that locks coffee. Just try to be careful not to lose any dosage while you do that. If you don't feel comfortable enough, you can even use an object. This is a coffee distributor, this round object here. And you can just place it on top of your coffee pack without pressing down. You want to just give it a good twirl like this. And in this way, you'll have an even more even coffee pack than before, more homogeneous that will help us in the extraction. Now we proceed with tamping. You want to use a 20 kilo spores on your coffee pack. This is an even coffee pack, which is homogeneous in all of the sides. So now we can proceed with the extraction. And I'm going to talk to you about just a few words about one of the most important steps in this case, which is the purging of our group head. Why do we need to purge? I'm going to show you why. This is just a few seconds of purging the water. If you don't get clean water, this is the water that you're gonna be using for your espresso extraction. And as you can see, it's dirty and it's full of all coffee remains. Those coffee remains will just corrupt the taste in your final cup and will give a very burnt taste to your espresso, which we don't want. So just make sure you remember every time for every single extraction, to purge your water. Just a few seconds will do, and as you can see, now we're gonna be using clean water. Insert your group handle as gently as possible because we don't wanna broke the coffee pot. And then we can proceed. We'll let the water flow through. As you can see, this is what we're looking for for the best espresso extraction. A thin flow, very caramelly color, light brown, the flow will get heavier and heavier as we come towards the end of the extraction. And once you're happy with the brew time that you're using, or even the brew ratio, or even the weight of the liquid in cup, then you know we're done. And we'll proceed tasting our espresso. One on. Well 